<laughs> nice. What is this? What is this? Ah. Oh. oh yeah. Of course. This is the girl from the Assassin's Creed Odyssey in uh, Origins. Well, God damn it. at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Woman from Assassin's Creed Origins in Odyssey. I think she's the same woman. I don't know. So let's see here. Let's You're examine. Long home, Eivor. Mm. Mm. So this is Avor Grave. Wow. What do we need to do? Guys, before we begin, make sure to hit this like button and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, yeah, the videos are doing well. Seriously. Yeah, Layla. Layla. It is the same woman. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. She needs some wax. She got some hair on uh, her arms. Another satellite <laughs> came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so it depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. 
Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Thank you. Uh, let's just. Mm, let's. I don't know. Do a couple please of research. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Half a minute. What is this? I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Yeah, this is from the Odyssey. Oh my god, this is from Atlantis. Guys, this is the history. That's quite nice. Soothing. Yeah. Use the laptop. Why? Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Yep. She's always on adventures now. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Yeah, I need to try harder. Okay, let's speak to him. I'm gonna use the laptop. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Okay, what is this? Sean has been busy. Yeah, no kidding. If you wanna read it, guys, feel, feel free to pause it. Here we go, I'm going. Oh my freaking god. Okay, let's speak to him. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team, maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Alright, you're right, yeah. Let's check the laptop real quick. Let's have a look. What do we have here? Hmm. Two thousand eighteen, yeah. This is home, thank this guy. If you wanna read it, feel free to pause it because I'm reading it in my mind and it's interesting. Mm-hmm. So very interesting. Yeah, it's from Atlantis guys. When we met, um, and I forgot its name. I see the messages.
Egypt. I don't know what's going on here. There's a lot of files. There's trash. Let's see this letter. My stuff. The pictures. Hey, wait. Let's do it. Here is this. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. All right, interesting. See the others. No, no, come on, Sean. Turn that thing off. Oh, hold on. I like what you said there. I want to get this for posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. <sighs> what I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because, because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want, or no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you, like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, we should be free to ignore it. To choose submission, for example. You know what I mean? Like, we should be free to side with the Templars. If it's really my choice, I could do that. Right. It's almost self-refuting. A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway, my dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. He ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. Stagnation sets in, you know? A fundamentalism. Yeah. Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, Munching on a wafer, rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like, like they're doing something. When the hard work is, well, actually getting off your ass and doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. Tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. You chose this life. You went through that process and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable know-it-all as a teenager, but I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. 
I knew nothing. Not until you guys found me. Yeah. It wasn't until I met you, and Bex, and Lucy, that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Bring it in, bud. I don't normally like touching, but I'll make an exception now. I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. Can you just turn that off? Wow. That was a long one, huh? Okay, enough. Let's go. Wish me luck! Alright, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. So I assume right now we can enter um we can oh my goodness what's going oh what the hell? what the oh, never mind. Uh, what the freaking hell is going on here? Holy moly guys the game broke some bugs I I guess Anyway, we can now um, enter the anonymous and get a, get an out of the uh, anonymous whenever we want. Seems like it. see any land at all and we'll be happy to have my feet on solid ground again we must not rush our landing all you see here is saxon territory the kingdom of mercia largely unpacified there will be eyes watching us from the trees with bows drawn and traps set we must be wary randy dig in your oars all standing have you spotted something not yet well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say long. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, if the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming, they do not. Or they will not scoff at our visit. 
Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre! We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him! That is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Thor, huh? Thor. Mjolnir is awesome. <laughs> Okay, focus. Focus about what? Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to me? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. England is a beautiful place. Look at this. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Okay, we're good. What do you see? There's a lot. Oh my goodness, enemies. There's a lot of enemies. Okay. Best not to draw attention here. Come stop! More? To deal with this guy right now. Where is he? Yes. Boop. Easy. that I uh, 
upgrade myself. I upgrade my sub before I go. Okay. What do we have over here? This. What's this? No. Hmm. Okay. Gonna read it. Feel free to pause it. Where are we exactly? Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. What do we need to do? One down. Pass is clear. Thank you very much. James away. Hey boy, back to the boat. I'm coming. Barry me any more surprises. Hey, it's not snowing. Awesome. What are you doing? Sigurd! Time work, I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dad? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Oh my goodness. We don't want to start a war right now. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about this. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot. As they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Oh my freaking god. It's so freaking amazing. Who are these men? It's a whole they new speak world. With twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Avon! On me! Well guys, I be the first to say welcome to England. Oh, what's this? 
A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect oh us goodness. to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! All right. Let's do this. Okay. Let's okay. Finish them. Kill these you have what you wish for. Feels like home. What the hell? What the hell? You asked for it. What the hell is this? Surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Wow. It's the first day on England, and we already messing up the place. Oh, scraps and rubbish over here. What a mess. something awesome here I assume I'm gonna get a lot of new weapons here yeah nothing oh to see goodness. here all good 